All right, I've got one more step that I want to do for inspection. So this thing is now, let's say it's machined and we want to get it over to inspection to have them check it over. And I want them to, to look at the information on this drawing. These are the values that I specified are as important. These are the ones I want them inspecting. I'm gonna save them some time by using SolidWorks inspection. What this does is it kind of captures all of your standard information, standard tolerances, etc. Uh, in a project template. That project template is then sort of deployed into a project on your drawing and it grabs the dimension values or dimension types that are important to you, balloons every value for you. Notice it, it skipped over any reference dimensions. Uh, and it's going to create inspection reports for all these values. Now a couple things here. You may want to move the balloons around a little bit. That's fine. You may even decide that you don't want to do certain dimensions. See this 0.35 minimum? That one we really don't need to have a, an inspection put on. So I can come over here after I clicked it, grabs it in the characteristic list, and I'll just say it's not selected, and it removes it and renumbers everything else to keep them all uh, in line. If this had been created and published and this was a revision, I could change the option to not renumber. That way where numbers don't get weird. Uh, so maybe first article goes through and we decide to cut most of these dimensions out. I can just take them off, but it won't renumber. That way quality, any CMM programs, things like that are all still going to reference correctly. But what I'll do here is export it as a 2D PDF, which is just a flat 2D drawing with balloons on it. Nothing fancy there. But the other one is to export to Excel. Excel allows you to get a table, a printable uh, sort of chart showing all the dimensions, and it's doing a little bit of work for us in the background. It's going through and pre-calculating the min-max values. So for instance, on this one, um, this 2.36, uh, that dimension min-max is 2.361 and 2.358. Those are the min-max values. It even does go and respect the number of decimal places that are there. So that's nice, so you don't have to really do any thinking, but also if you were to open this up digitally and start filling it out, like 2.36, it will tell you whether or not it's within specification. So if I say 0.5011, that is not within tolerance. Uh, I need to go adjust my template so it has the right number of decimal places. But this is a great way to very quickly go through here and find out whether or not things are gonna be within specification. Now there's way more capabilities in inspection. For example, it can do you know paper drawings, DXFs, DWGs, PDFs. Uh, it can also create inspection reports for 3D geometry, such as that MBD part we did earlier. Uh, but that's all I need right now. I just needed to get this out into the shop and get the inspection department ready to go to inspect this and make sure that we've met all of our tolerances and identify any process issues uh, or communication issues that we have that would have resulted from all the work we've done to this point. <music>